Yeah. So even though today we've got like many different Qurans, okay? So there is well-known Quran, it's half Quran. Very big majority of the world is being decided. It has been canonized in 1920s. And Hafs, uh, his Quran is like from um, 795. So that's 150 years, of, 170 years after the death of Muhammad. Okay? Hafs was not reliable. People identify this man as a liar and a robber, not robber, a thief. So he, he, he was not trustworthy in his words. He would take people's things and will never return. So that's what thief would do. According to the Islamic tradition, they should have chopped his hands. But they haven't done that. They took his Quran today and then they are reciting his Quran around the world. So he wasn't reliable at all. And then you've got another one called um, Al-Qisa. Um, again, Muslims are around the world recited his Quran and still some Muslims are reciting his Quran. Um, he's one of the like, canonized Quran. He was playing with boys, with beautiful boys. A man is playing with a beautiful voice. That doesn't look very good to me. But Muslims took out his Quran. Uh, you've got, uh, for example, Hamza. Uh, he, would, he would not even recite his own, own Quran in his prayer. He would recite other people's Quran. Yet Muslims today take his Quran. So even though you've got like many different Qurans, which is different from one another, those people who kind of passed those Qurans to us, they were not trustworthy as well.